volunteers, please. And those who are exhibitors, please take a seat at the Lincoln Park office. Welcome to our Lincoln Park office. I'm Tim Sargent. I'm a manager for external affairs with Dominion's uh, State and Local Affairs Office in Northern Virginia. So government and community relations is, is my focus. The foundation, the foundation and the Virginia Asian Chamber of Commerce book hand in hand. One side, we promote diversity in business, and the other side, we promote the welfare of the people of the Asian American communities. And what's really exciting about it, while still being some fire management, but also doing that at enterprise level. So it'll be really a great opportunity to really leverage small business inclusion across all of our business units, which I'll get into. We're going to miss you. Okay. Uh, uh, we're like a large prime. We're perpetuates. So, so we know about you guys. When you don't do good for one company, we know. We talk to each other. We share knowledge. Uh, the buyer remember you. Next, uh, one of the person that really has became an advisor to VACC is somebody very special. We invite him to speak last year. His name is Mr. Mark Casillo. And Mr. Mark Casillo is the director of Small Business Development Program of the U.S. Department of Defense. He protect our industrial base. We want to grow our industrial base and we need small businesses to do that. So, um, so we have this challenge. We want to, um, so strategic sourcing contracts come into play, or BPA, where the idea is to uh, um, pull things together into so um, I did that with a guy you've heard his name before John Klein John Klein is is with our office of general counsel he's been with us about 35 years uh, John trained me okay I'm also with Sam Lee Sam Lee can you stand up okay okay Sam is also very honored to be here he's also with general counsel and I work very closely with him too he's going to be the next generation uh, for SBA but, but you should you should get to know Sam because uh, Sam not only understands why the laws were created, he understands how to use them effectively. Okay, so since I'm a lawyer lawyer by trade, right? I understand how to bend the living heck out of a rule, right? Okay, ah, but I absolutely will not break them. Okay, if you look at the rules, most people look at the regulations for SBA and they think of it as something to avoid or something to get around or something to see a loophole. You're, you're, you're nodding your head. You're not supposed to. You can shake your head, right? <laughs> But so what I look at it is, is like, let me ask you a real, real quick question. I think the problem with the regulations that people look at with SBA, they make it overly complicated because of what they assume, right? Has anybody played the game Monopoly? Hey, raise your hand, loud and proud. Come on, need help, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get your hands up there, otherwise you're gonna fall asleep, right? Okay, so what happens when you land on Park Place? Right, you get the money in the middle, right? You play that, okay? What, ha okay, so, you realize, for example, that that's not in the rules, right? It's, it's, it's one of the most misinterpreted rules, but it's because people think they understand how to play the game. Okay? SBA rules and, and federal regulations are very similar that way. So I've been in business with a lot of different businesses for a long time, particularly in your industry. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I've been very lucky. God's, God's blessed me very, very nicely, and, and uh, we've always been successful. Okay? But my, my view of things is that we always look at rules. 